What's up everybody, this is Conrad, doing a video of some rare, uh, some not so rare, uh, some of my personal favorite basketball, pretty much mostly basketball cards, um, yeah, so let's get started, got my team album right here, this is where I keep my best cards, okay, first of all we got the Jordans, So we got this Jordan Planet Metal Metal Universe on the back it says Michael Jordan Mike you've single-handedly redefined the NBA superstar straight up you're the most recognized athlete in the world and not only the top player of your era but quite possibly the best player ever to wear an NBA uniform. Six-time Finals MVP. Nine-time All-Defense player. And career scoring average of 31.5 points per game. Damn. That's because he is the best, you know. Who could possibly be like you, Mike? Nobody. That's the answer. Alright, next up, we got the, let's see, straighten that out a bit. Alright, we got the Bulls uh, Upper Deck Collector's Choice, and it says, uh, let me look at it real quick, the Jordan Collection. Alright, so this is the Jordan Collection. Uh, I think I had a few of these, uh, but I picked this one to put in my favorite uh, cards, just because I like this one the best. Look at the back. Got some stats there. Uh, pretty basic. Uh, this, this one right here. Uh, it's not that valuable, but like I said, this is my personal favorite cards that I have, uh, and I thought this one was pretty cool. It's actually made out of plastic, uh, and it's upper deck, uh, with a, to the three power, the big picture, Chicago Bulls, Utah Jazz, 1997. 90s man, those were the days. Good days. Take a look at the back. I don't think we got much on the back. Just uh, some upper deck stuff. Next up, we got another Jordan card. And this is the 3000 points season. Michael Jordan. I think there's a few of these, and this is just one of them. Uh, Alright, let's read the back to this. So, what I'm going to do throughout the video is read the back on uh, some of these. Uh, just because they don't make cards like they used to. In 1986 to 87, Michael Jordan became the only sec second player in NBA history to score more than 3,000 points in a single season, joining Wilt Chamberlain. This is even more amazing when you consider that with 3,041 points, Jordan outscored his closest competitor by 696 points. He also scored at least 40 points in a game 37 times that year. 40 points. You try doing that. Alright, next up. We got memorable moments uh, we, I had a few of these back in the day uh, yeah that's uh, Scotty Pippen Jordan two of my favorite play players from back in the day um, yeah got another Scotty Pippen over here uh, 
this uh, Fleer Ultra All NBA First Team forward Scotty Pippen. This is not worth very much either, I don't think. But like I say, this is my favorite. Uh, I like the look of this one. Let's see what they got to say. Entering Game 5 of the 1997 NBA Finals, Jordan was slowed by sickness, although barely able to walk back to the bench during timeouts in the second half of the game. Jordan racked up 38 points, even reba 7 rebounds, 5 assists, 3 steals, and 1 block, and 44 minutes of play to help lead the Chicago Bulls to a 90-88 victory. And that was a good game. Some say that they spiked the Gatorade and nah, I'm just kidding I don't know if that's true but uh, anyway <laughs> alright and what do they got to say about Scotty Pippen Scotty Pippen this ultra versatile point forward earned his fifth NBA all-star selection in 1995 finishing third overall in the balloting Pippen finished the season as Chicago's team leader in scoring 21 Point four points per game. Eh, I'm not so sure about number one in the Bulls, but maybe that year, I don't know. Twelfth NBA rebounding, 8.1 points, uh, rebounds per game, assists 5.2 assists per game, steals 2.94, first in the NBA during that time, block shots, 1.13 uh, for him during the campaign Pippen registered his 14th career triple double and collected his 10,000th NBA career point January 13th versus Sacramento so he has 3 of 15 so there's a whole bunch of those uh, and some of these uh, you know they're not they're not that uh, rare, but these are my favorite cards. Anthony Hardaway, he's also up there, uh, uh, one of my favorite players. Another upper deck, memorable moments, just like the uh, Scottie Pippen and the Jordan card up above. Uh, they used to call him Penny back in the day. That's what it says on the card. All right, let's read that one. And I'll try and go a little faster. Uh, anyway, having been held back by injuries for most of the season, Hardaway wanted to make a statement upon his return to full strength. Unfortunately for Charlotte, it came at the expense of the Hornets. In 41 minutes of play, Hardaway registered 27 points, three rebounds, and five assists to down the Hornets 86 to 81 in Orlando. Penny comes back big for the Magic in a duel with Charlie. Uh, just another Scotty Pippen common card. Uh, yeah. Felipe Lopez. I think that's a double sided. Yeah, that's double sided. Right. Anthony, uh, Anthony Hardaway, another, another one. Uh, this one's a hologram. SP, I don't have very many SP cards. Uh, I don't know if you can see the holograph. We'll try and get it in there. You see that? Well, hopefully that got in there a little bit. Uh, cool looking card. You know, not just your standard rectangle. Uh, another metal, uh, Fleer metal, nuts and bolts, Anthony Hardaway, another Anthony Hardaway, Skybox Domination, another Anthony Hardaway, uh, Upper Deck, Game, Go, Dated, okay I'm not going to go through those, another probably Probably my favorite player um, would have to be Gary Payton.
because I'm up here near Seattle. Uh, this is a skybox. I got this at a garage sale back in the day. It's in kind of rough shape, but I just love the card, so I picked it up. Uh, it's probably not worth anything, but anyway. It's Gary Payton, Kinetic, Seattle Supersonics. Uh, another cool looking, probably not valuable. Uh, Gary Payton Force. Uh, skybox, another skybox. I think these were, uh, yeah, those were released around the same time. Uh, we got big numbers. Tony Allen, right there. And then we got uh, Michael Dickerson. Uh, Another skybox. Sean Kemp, you know, I got a love hate relationship with him just because, uh, end of it, you know, not that long ago he was all in the drugs, but I don't think his rookie car is worth very much, but there it is right there. Then we got Sean Kemp, Golden Moment. He was a great player, uh, it's just unfortunate. That he got addicted to drugs. Uh, and another old school type uh, 80s or 90s design right here. Sean Kemp. Alright. Moving on. We got Lindsey Hunter. Uh, Top's finest. Real of a nice looking card. Still got the uh, protection cover on it. Those came with that. Uh, Rock, Alonzo Morning. I had the Shaq version of this. I wish I would have kept it because I know it's more valuable. I traded it for this one. I was a kid. I was stupid. And that's what I did. Anyway, next card. We got John Howard. 1996 NBA All-Stars. And then, I don't, I'm not a big fan of LeBron, but... Uh, there's a LeBron card. I collect everyone. Well, not everyone, but anyway. LeBron. Cleveland Cavs. Alright. Another good player. Another one of my favorites. Tracy McGrady. There's a signature. It's not a real signature, but... Nice looking card. Uh, got his rookie card. Not his most valuable rookie card, but his rookie card nonetheless. It's a uh, Fleer 96, 97. Got another rookie card. Uh, Sharif Abdul. I always get his freaking name wrong. Let me read it on the back. Let's see, he's Sharif Abdur Rahim. Alright, that's his name, rookie card. I got that early on in his career when he was a rookie, obviously. Okay, and Tracy McGrady we got here. Another Metal Universe card. I love these Metal Universe cards, they're just great looking cards. Okay, Just look at the back of the cards. Not gonna read those. Okay, uh, a few more we got here. We got uh, Brian Grant. Uh, I don't even think that's worth anything. But uh, Brian Grant on that jersey. Um, Antoine Jameson uh, jersey card. I think that's actually worth a bit. Uh, Fleer, Fleer patchwork. Uh, a couple of autograph cards. You know, I don't have too many autograph cards. So I thought that was cool. So I put them in my favorites. Uh, autograph Kenny Anderson. And autograph Corey Carr. Very cool. And a certificate of authenticity. 
You know, those are all certified. This one's not, doesn't look like. But it's real. Yep. Alright, so that's the end of that little uh, tour of my team album. And now I'm going to show you some uh, some other rare and cool cards you got. Uh, this is not in circulation. I think that's what it says. This is Corey Maguette uh, playing for the Clippers. Uh, or maybe, alright, it's just, it says uncirculated. Right there. So we can get that, yeah. Uncirculated. Uh, it's number 139 out of 325. What this was was you bought a pack and it would it was guaranteed one of these cards, so they're probably not worth that much. Just just kinda cool to have. It's got a, it's in a nice case. Never been opened. Next we have a Kevin Garnett. Uh, sorry about that, can't even see it. Alright, we got a Kevin Garnett Tops Chrome. 2003-2004, when he's playing for the Timberwolves. Uh, a few of his stats. Yeah, he was their best player back then. I don't know how they're doing now, but anyway. An old school Shaq guard. Uh, I think it's actually a remake. Uh, give Neon the ball. I guess they must have called him Neon back at Western University. Blue chips. Back of the card. Neon Badal. Has everything it takes to be a winner. The size, the speed, and the muscles. This unknown from the streets of New Orleans is bigger and stronger than everyone. He can handle the ball. He can shoot. And run. He is never intimidated. He has legend written all over him, and he always gets the last laugh. Yeah, Shaq's a funny, funny guy. I like that uh, Mad TV where they're uh, making fun of Kobe, or well, Shaq too, I guess. Where they're like, Kobe, don't be raping. Yeah. He goes all cross-eyed and stuff. He's drinking like Kool-Aid or some shit out by the pool. Anyway. This is uh, Dominique Wilkins. Uh, he's uh, before my time, but uh, he's also one of my favorite players. Autographed. <sighs> I think I lost the COD or, or CAD. Anyway, the cert Certificate of Authenticity. I think I lost it, but it is real. Sealed. Uh, yeah. Pretty cool. One of my proudest cars. And we got another Sharif Abdur Rahim. I don't think it's a rookie, but it might be. Was selected by Vancouver Grizzlies in the first round of the 96. Yeah, this is 97. So, uh, yeah, saying it's rookie. Maybe it is a rookie, I don't know. Yeah, that's his rookie. It's a 10 out of 10 on the grading scale. Although this, this is kind of jacked up here. Which is pretty stupid, but doesn't affect the card. Because that's sealed in there real good. Alright, well that's about it for this particular uh, set. We're gonna, just gonna show you a few DBZ cards. If you're interested, like the video, um, subscribe, and I'll post more. I also uh, do a lot of uh, music. I like a lot of music, and uh, I do uh, tech and stuff like that. Anyway, subscribe, like, comment, whatever, or dislike it. I don't care. Anyway, uh, Dragon Ball Z. Oh, oh yeah, before I do this, uh, I got another binder full of cards. Uh, 
some really good cards in there. I'm going to go through that in another video. I just got to go and collect that. Uh, Alright, so Dragon Ball Z. Uh, that's Goku. Getting ready to do. Oh, you didn't see that. Alright. Uh, getting ready to do what he does. There's Goku, Gohan, riding on the cloud. The flying.